Bienvenidos a la segunda jornada de los Impact Pitches. Bea, ¿qué nos espera hoy? Pues hoy nos espera una jornada también con ocho pitch, con mucho, mucho impacto. Y empezamos con uno que tiene mucho impacto en el medio ambiente y en el cambio climático. Nos lo presenta Gregorio, CEO de Ciclo Green. Eh, ¿Creéis que es posible cambiar el hábito de los trabajadores de ir en coche a la oficina? Pues Ciclo Green nos presenta una solución que puede ser viable este cambio de hábito. No, no os explico mucho más porque Gregorio os lo explica mucho más en detalle. Hi, I'm Gregorio, CEO of Ciclorin. We help companies to promote sustainable mobility and reduce their CO2 emissions. Why? Because global population is concentrating in big cities that have a huge environmental, social and economic problem. Transport emissions. Most, most employees keep going to work by car and they are suffering from stress, but also increasing CO2 emissions, the main responsible of climate change and air pollution that kills 7 million people in the world every year. Of course, they, they want to solve this problem, but then they face two main barriers. There is a lack of motivation because those employees are really used to go to work by car. And there is also a lack of mobility data to be able to understand new mobility patterns and provide better infrastructure and services. Well, our solution helps our customers to overcome these two barriers. First of all, uh, our solution allows city councils and companies to reward their employees for using sustainable means of transport. How does it work? It's really easy. Employees only have to download our app and use it to register their sustainable trips to work. For example, sharing a car. Ciclovin will transform those sustainable kilometers into points that employees are able to redeem for rewards, discounts, and also join virtual challenges and be able to win a free electrical bicycle. And that's powerful motivation to promote sustainable mobility, but also powerful data that we provide to city councils, like the City Council of Barcelona, one of our customers, that are using this data to understand mobility patterns and provide better infrastructure and services. Also, this data is important for companies because we are helping them to comply with the new CO2 emissions reporting regulation. Our business model is simple and highly scalable. We provide a customized reward program to companies and cities for a monthly fee including a real-time dashboard, mobility challenges, and also data visualization. And we are providing this solution in a huge growing market, targeting all in Europe, more than 75,000 large companies and cities. The market is growing, and also our sales. We are already working with big companies like Decathlon, Safir, Ulma, or Mausa Miguel. The opportunity is huge. Uh, we have more than 60,000 users, more than 20 customers internationally, and we have the right team to keep growing this business with expertise in project management, programming, marketing, and sales. We want to grow this business and also grow our global impact. And we already have registered in our app more than 11 million of sustainable kilometers, saving more than 3,000 tons of CO2 emissions. We are global from the beginning. Uh, we have been featured internationally in the New York Times or The Economist and got national and international awards from the Spanish Ministry of Environment, but also from Google or the Climate Quality Project. And this global impact has been validated by ship to be And to get the most of this, of this global opportunity, we are now adding convertible nodes. We will launch our third investment round in January 2023. And we are lucky because we already have the support of important investment funds uh, impact investment found like chip to be ese o fondo la bolsa social thank you pues parece que nuestros emprendedores habían previsto esto de la pandemia porque pasamos de ciclo green ir al trabajo en bicicleta a vima y vega una startup que propone una solución para grabar conferencias seminarios clases etc I am Victor, and this beautiful lady is Vega, the daughter of my colleague, Antonio and Monica. Let me ask you a question. How do you feel when you see this picture? Maybe you feel confused. Maybe you just lost all attention to the presentation. But what if I tell you that behind that picture is the key to your future? Then maybe you feel frustrated. This is how Vega, who was born with a high visual ability and millions of people see and feel every day in a classroom. 
they can't see what others can see. They can't see the blackboard. They can't see the teacher. They can't even connect with the teacher because they can't see if the teacher is, is happy, is smiling, or is sad. Right now, there's no solution on the market that allow us to capture the whole listen experience. There is still people using in 2021 spyglass to follow the presentation in a university, high school, or school. Because of them, because of Vega, we create Be My Vega. Be My Vega allows all the students to use their computer, their mobile phone, or their tablet to follow the lesson and choose at any time what he wants to see. If they want to see the blackboard, if, want, if they want to follow the speaker, or if they want to follow the presentation. Also, if they have any kind of hidden problem, they can uh, read uh, a transcription in real time. Do you think Be My Vega is only useful for people with disability? The experience say to us that not. It is useful for everyone, especially those who want to receive the distant learnings. Right now, when we are attending a lesson through Zoom, Zoom, for example, we just watch a presentation and a small window with the face of the teacher, but he can move around, he can do anything with their body. Now, if we are watching a, a blackboard, we just see a small portion of the blackboard and we are losing a lot of vital information. Let me show you Be My Vega. This student, she don't have any kind of visual disability, but with Be My Vega, she can see the blackboard with any level of detail as she wants. She can follow the presentation or even she can follow the speaker at any time. Just in Spain, there is more than 9.0 million of students that can be benefited by the accessibility with Be My Vega. But Be My Vega is not just for classrooms, it's also for any kind of culture events, for example, concerts. With Be My Vega, people have more clear image, they have the transcription, and they have at least this kind of accessibility options. Uh, behind the Big Mega team is a multidisciplinary uh, group of people with different backgrounds. Some of them are teachers, some of them are engineers, and some of them are more focused on business development. Because of that, we have the capacity to be more agile, to adapt our product to whatever our user or client needs. In our first three months of business, uh, we have more than 100,000 euros approved sales. And because of that, and because we are increasing our business at a high rate, uh, we are just open an investment round for 300,000 euros in a competitive note that will allow us to improve our product and increase our manufacturing capacity. We always love to finish showing Vega, using Be My Vega for her first time. And that day was the last day that she was sitting in front of the class. Now she sits in the back with her friends. We create Be My Vega because we believe that universal access to knowledge for everyone, especially for children, is a necessity. It is a right and it should be a hallmark of our society. Thank you so much and hope to see you really soon. Qué interesante que de la pandemia se hagan proyectos con impacto social, Javi. Y seguimos con Fundación Rubricatus, eh, donde nos presenta Rodrigo, el project manager del proyecto, un proyecto con mucho impacto social y medioambiental. ¿Por qué? Porque trabajan eventos sostenibles, eventos sostenibles donde reducen la huella de carbono y a la vez incluyen y, y trabajan con personas con discapacidad. La Fundación Rubricatus lleva muchos años trabajando con personas con discapacidad, pero empezó este proyecto en el que os lo cuenta Rodrigo y la verdad vale mucho la pena. Hola, ¿sabéis que en la ciudad de Barcelona en 2019 se celebraron más de 1.700 congresos? de los cuales participaron más de 650.000 personas, casi la misma población que en Zaragoza. Los ingresos de Feria de Barcelona fueron más o menos unos 215 millones de euros, que es lo que hubiera ingresado el Barça por el fichaje de Messi. Pero la inversión en integración social y en contratación de personas con discapacidad fue de 0 euros, que es lo mismo que ha ingresado el Barça ¿eh? por el fichaje de Messi. Pero no venimos a hablar de Messi ni del Barça, sino venimos a hablar de Oscar Sanz. Oscar Sanz es un compañero de la Fundación que se dedica desde hace 25 años a repartir cartas y paquetería en uno de los barrios más conflictivos del Prat del Llobregat. Y nos dimos cuenta de una cosa, que Oscar conseguía conectar con las personas. Un día fuimos a un evento participamos en un evento y nos fijamos en el equipo de azafatas y azafatos. Y le pregunté a mi compañera 
que cómo vería si personas como Oscar Sanz, Bea, José o Fernando estuvieran aquí asistiendo a los participantes, eh, dándoles pues, el check-in, el choco-out y, y, y bueno, acompañándoles en las salas. Al poco tiempo nos llamaron de un congreso y nos dijeron que si queríamos participar en la organización y fuimos con un equipo piloto. La verdad es que fue todo un éxito. Los participantes y la organización se quedó sorprendida de la calidad del servicio. Eso nos animó a continuar. Y en 2017, 2018, hicimos varios pilotos. Participamos en el GREC, en el Congreso de la Tabla del Tercer Sector, en la Confederación, varios eventos sociales. La valoración del servicio fue de 9 sobre 10. Y la, la, al preguntar si nos volverían a contratar, todos contestaron, el 100% contestó que sí nos volverían a contratar. Entonces pensamos, ¿solo hablamos de integración social o también podemos añadir algún valor a nuestro servicio que nos diferencie, ya que el sector de los congresos es muy blindado y es un sector muy consolidado? ¿Y si añadíamos el tema del medio ambiente? ¿Y si mmm, esta preocupación medioambiental de reducir la huella de los congresos que participamos? ¡Ostras! nos daría esa, esa diferenciación. Total, hablamos con Inedit, unos asesores medioambientales, y nos han hecho una calculadora para medir el evento, el impacto medioambiental del evento desde el inicio hasta el final. ¿Pero cómo se soporta todo esto? Pues muy bien, el 80% de los ingresos tienen que ser para soportar el servicio a partir de, de clientes privados, el 20% a partir de subvenciones para poder desarrollar herramientas como la que hemos, la que hemos hecho con Inedit. Subvenciones que son públicas. ¿eh? A partir de ahí tenemos un objetivo. 2022 queremos integrar a 8 personas en el, en el sector de eventos con una facturación de unos 80 a 100 mil euros y consolidarnos con la ISO 20121 de eventos sostenibles. 2023-2024. Vamos a doblar esas personas, crearemos un equipo bien formado, invertiremos en formación, los ingresos ascenderán casi a los 200.000 euros y en el 2025 es donde conseguimos toda la transformación. Pasamos a organizar eventos, de ahí creamos una formación certificada y valorada por estamentos públicos sobre eventos sostenibles para personas con discapacidad intelectual y trabajamos bajo la, bajo la marca Green Events que es la marca con donde asesoramos a nuestros clientes desde su origen hasta el final a reducir la huella de impacto medioambiental. La Fundación Rubricatus es una entidad sin ánimo de lucro que tiene como objetivo la inserción sociolaboral de personas con discapacidad y por ello estamos aquí. Pues volvemos a la salud. Vamos a ver ahora el pitch de Legit Health. Legit Health es un software que mediante inteligencia artificial puede ayudar a los dermatólogos identificar lesiones en la piel. Hi, I'm Alfonso Medela, co-founder and chief AI officer of Legit Health. Skin diseases are the fourth disease with the greatest impact globally. There is such a demand that there are not enough doctors to cover it, and as a consequence, patients have to wait up to six months in order to get healthcare assistance. In order to solve this problem, we created the first platform that uses AI algorithms for clinical diagnosis and severity assessment in order to help the doctors cover this need. It is a CE marked medical device software for clinical diagnosis support, severity assessment, and also treatment effectiveness analysis. But how does it work? Scoring systems are the tool to measure the severity of a disease. These tools have gone from pen and paper to digital calculators to the newest and latest thing in the market, the, which, are, which is automation thanks to legit health. This means filling scoring the visual part of the scoring systems, such as the redness or the size of a disease, and with algorithms and giving and translating this into clinical information based on real world data. The application detects or diagnosis 232 skin pathologies just by looking at an image and has several benefit, benefits for the physician as the improvement of the correct diagnosis rate, a faster and zero variability triage or even an early detection of pre-malignancy cases. In addition, it provides treatment efficiencies data and also helps in the medical resource optimization. 
All this is thanks to the clinically validated computer vision and deep learning technology that have very high sensitivity and specificity. The product is a web application for doctors and patients that works as the following. The medical center enrolls a patient which is then able to upload pictures which are processed by the algorithms and it even makes a quality check to ensure that the image is correct. Then the, the doctor receives all the information in a report that and after confirming the disease, the patient has access to all the information including alerts to upload pictures with a certain frequency. This results in benefits for the patient such as reducing the waiting time to see a doctor or patients also feel more accompanied. In addition, it empowers patients to be more active in their care and this improves their quality of life and also the adherence, adherence to the treatment. We have competition and we all do diagnosis, however, some of them focus on some specific diseases or are B2C. Legit Health is the first platform for doctors and patients that clean, performs a diagnosis of a wider range of pathologies, it also automates the severity assessment and based on this data analyzes the effectiveness of treatments. We work we are a B2B software as a service and we work with different customer segments and we have already validated all of them with paying customers. We even have a patient affairs department that works hand in hand with patient organization in order to understand the patient needs. So thank you very much and please join us and help us help more people. Qué interesante Javi todos los proyectos que estamos viendo y en especial Legit con un gran impacto en la salud de las personas. Y ahora seguimos con un proyecto con impacto en las personas también, pero en un impacto más social. El proyecto se llama Kida y nos lo presenta su CEO Uriol. Qué importante es cuidar a las personas mayores, que estas personas estén cuidadas a poder ser en su casa y con personas que también están cuidadas. Pues todo esto lo hace Kida y Uriol nos lo explicará mucho más en detalle. Good morning, my name is Oriol Fuertes and I'm the CEO of KIDA and it's an absolute pleasure to present to you what we're doing and how we're building it at KIDA. Basically, we are a social impact company and we aim and we strive to transform how care is delivered at home. We have a dual mission. Number one, what we call the triple M, more people, more time, more quality of life at home. And number two is to return the social status to the caregivers, what we call our KIDAs. We have five elements that are different, but the main, main thing is our vision. Our vision is that people should stay at home for longer with better health, and they should not be at hospitals unless it's really necessary. And what we do differently is five things. Number one is a model of care that is really personalized and proactive. A model of care that is different by type of patient that allows us to be much more continuous in our monitoring and much more proactive. Number two is how we use technology. Of the more than 8 million that we've raised for the last three years, we've used it a third of it for technology. So we're talking about a 2.5 million investment in technology in two fronts. Number one, to make it much more efficient. Number two, and most importantly, to connect the healthcare system with the social care system, with the home, and of course, the caregiver. Number three, our caregivers. They are the essence of it. Our market is supply constraint and not demand constraint. And so what we do is to ensure very good working conditions, continuous training and the right um, payment mechanisms. Number four, we strive to, to stop fragmentation. What we aim for is to have a marketplace that offers all the services that a family member can need and will need at home. And this is part of our delivery model as well as our business model. And number five, and most importantly, how we grow. We have very clear that we have three engines, the B2C, B2B2C, and B2B. And we've been able to close deals and work together with the biggest insurers and hospital chains in the country. This has allowed us to grow very quickly. As of today, every month, our GMB, monthly GMB is 1.5 million. Only after three years, this year, we will have a yearly GMB of 20 million. We are growing over 20% month on month. We've are served almost three, thousand people and most importantly we managed to do so with very high quality 4.9 out of 5. 
as I was saying before, we've managed to close deals with Adesla, Skiron, DKB, as well as have the support from the Ministry of Social Care and the main institutions, both in Madrid and Catalonia. And finally, all of this is only possible with a multidisciplinary team. I am leading a team after nine years at the firm at McKinsey, where I was working only in healthcare, as well as I was advising ministers and best ministers around Europe. And Pau is my second in chief, second in command, a CEO, also from McKinsey and MBA in ESE, but much more hands on and with former experience as CEO of a startup. And then the rest of the team, extremely important, both with an experience in startup, healthcare, as well as scale ups. Thank you very much for your support, and I wish you a fantastic day. Me encanta Akida. Realmente es muy difícil digitalizar el sector de los servicios domésticos y creo que Cuida lo está haciendo realmente bien. Pasamos ahora a Reforestum. Reforestum es una solución que nos permite de manera muy fácil compensar nuestra huella de carbono. Muy buenas tardes, mi nombre es Diego Sanz y les hablo hoy en representación de Reforestum. La misión de Reforestum es incentivar la inversión en proyectos de reforestación a través de un marketplace centrado en mejorar la trazabilidad y transparencia de los créditos de carbono que se generan. Les contaré cómo abordamos la lucha contra el cambio climático a través de la mejora de los mercados de carbono voluntarios y terminaré explicando cómo medimos nuestro impacto. Uno de los principales mecanismos en la lucha climática son los mercados de carbono. Podemos deducir cómo estos mercados han fallado por el hecho de que solamente un 0,01% de las emisiones globales se compensan a través de dicho mecanismo. Aproximadamente un 40% de las emisiones compensadas corresponden a un tipo de solución que se conoce como NBS, es decir, soluciones basadas en la naturaleza, la cual es la más escalable y la que captura carbono de manera más económica. Las NBS son típicamente proyectos de agricultura regenerativa, reforestación y conservación forestal. Nuestras hipótesis acerca de por qué las NPS no han escalado a nivel esperado son, eh, primeramente, que los procesos de desarrollo de proyectos, así como sus validaciones y certificaciones, son tediosos e ininteligibles. Y la segunda hipótesis explica cómo este nivel de complejidad y opacidad ha creado oportunidades para que ciertas organizaciones se hayan beneficiado de manera dudosa, cayendo en la tentación de dobles contabilidades y sobreestimaciones. Entonces, ¿cuál es la solución que ofrecemos? Una plataforma tecnológica y un modelo de distribución y financiación que atajan los problemas de las NBS en el mercado voluntario mediante la reconstrucción de la confianza perdida en dicho mercado a través de mayor transparencia, mayor trazabilidad y mayor involucración. Para mejorar la transparencia, usamos un sistema de monitorización remota que usa inteligencia artificial para estimar la captura de carbono de los proyectos en tiempo casi real. Para mejorar la trazabilidad, hemos puesto a disposición de nuestros clientes corporativos APIs que integran con sus sistemas de IT y permiten emitir participaciones de bosque en tiempo real, como por ejemplo cuando se comercializa un bien a través de comercio electrónico y se emite esta participación de bosque. Fomentamos la involucración a través de nuestra comunidad digital, que incluye perfiles corporativos que las empresas usan para dar mayor visibilidad a los proyectos y comunicarse y con sus clientes y empleados. Disponemos de dos tipos de proyectos. Proyectos de conservación con créditos de carbono certificados por Berra y proyectos de forestación en Europa certificados por los gobiernos locales. Esta es nuestra primera fuente de ingresos a través de aplicar un markup eh, sobre los proyectos forestales y créditos de carbono emitidos. Nuestro objetivo es acompañar a nuestros clientes corporativos a alcanzar sus objetivos de net zero mediante el desarrollo de portfolios eh, forestales a medida. Finalmente, la segunda fuente de ingresos es a través de un modelo SaaS por el uso de la plataforma, monetizando perfiles cooperativos, APIs, monitorización remota, digitalización de portfolios existentes y emisión de participaciones forestales. Una vez sentadas las bases, veamos el impacto que esperamos conseguir. La primera categoría es la reducción de CO2 atmosférico. Nuestro objetivo es llegar hasta el medio millón de toneladas anuales en 2024. La segunda categoría es la restauración y protección de ecosistemas forestales. El objetivo en 2024 es llegar a superar las 16.000 hectáreas protegidas y restauradas anualmente. En cuanto a la creación de la comunidad digital reforestadores, tenemos la ambición de llegar al millón de usuarios antes de 2025. Medimos el aumento en la confianza del mercado de carbono forestal a través del peso de las NBS en el mercado voluntario de carbono. 
Y finalmente, medimos la generación de actividad económica y riqueza en las comunidades locales a través del impacto económico y el número de empleos creados en dichas comunidades indígenas. Hasta aquí mi discurso y muchísimas gracias por escuchar. La solución que plantea Reforestum es súper interesante y para muchas de las empresas que deben estar eh, viendo, la verdad. Si seguimos con Pensium, igual que Kida trabajaba con personas mayores, también lo hace Pensium. Hay muchas personas que necesitan ir a una residencia, pero esta necesidad no viene acompañada con eh, ayuda económica. Sabemos que las residencias son extremadamente costosas. Por eso Pensium eh, proporciona una solución para estas personas mayores, pero también para sus familias. Nos lo presenta Natalia, la responsable de marketing de, de la startup. Hello and welcome to Pensium. I'm Natalia Bondo and I'm going to show you some features of Pensium I think you should know. Pensium was born as an idea to help elderly people to receive the best attention, especially elderly people with dependency. In Spain, there are 1.9 million people with dependency, near 1 million of them with high or very high dependency that needs permanent care in a nursing home. But public resources are limited, so they cannot afford it. So most families has to pay for it. And that's not easy, because that's, that means near 2,000 euros every month. So we wanted to help all these families. We saw that elderly people who move to the nursing home used to live alone, so they live an empty property. We put this property in the rental market and we give to the family in advance all the money they need to pay for the nursing home. And if the property needs any renovations, we also manage it and finance it. We are giving to the family the accorded contributions while necessary. And what happens then? Well, we continue collecting the rent of the property until all the money given in advance is totally repaid. So the rent of the property pays it all. It's a fast, easy and responsible solution. And it's a real solution for near 2,000 families nowadays. How do we do it? We do it with the support of many organizations that trust in Pensium, important organization, and they trust in us because Pensium is a sustainable business. We receive the initial fee that covers operational costs, a rate of interest that covers financial costs, and a rental management fee. But in an emotional way, we do it looking for the social impact in elderly people. That's why we are a B Corp, and that's why we were awarded by B Corp and by MAFRE Foundation for our social innovation. And now, where are we going? Elderly population is increasing, so we want to help every year more and more families to, to pay for their attention. And we are sure that we can do it. And why should you invest in Pensium? Pensium is a profitable, profitable investment as uh, it has a rate of interest of 4%. It's a safe investment also because it's guaranteed by a portfolio of uh, rented properties. It's an SDG investment focused on elderly people. It has a, an experienced and innovative management team and the elderly population its market, it's an increasing market. So, If I arose to you some interest in knowing Pensium better, please contact us. I'm just thinking one thing. We all want to become elderly and most of us will need a nursing home. So Pensium is the future. La verdad es que está muy bien Pensium. Pensium realmente demuestra que se puede tener impacto en el sector inmobiliario y en el sector financiero y haciéndolo de manera muy clara con una solución muy fácil. Vamos a cerrar esta segunda jornada de los pitches, de los impact pitches, perdonar, con Sikai. Sikai Medical es una startup que mediante inteligencia artificial ayuda a los radiólogos y a los oncólogos a detectar de manera precoz el cáncer de páncreas, uno de los más dañinos que existen y con una mortalidad más alta.
At Sikai Medical, we assist radiologists in the early stage diagnosis of pancreatic cancer through imaging. And maybe you are wondering why pancreatic cancer? Well, the answer is quite simple. At first, it is the most lethal one. In fact, if you are diagnosed today, you are facing five months of life expectancy. And secondly, because there are no methods for early diagnosis, and early diagnosis saves lives. In one over three cases, it means the difference between life and death. And that's why radiologists shall monitor every lesion found in the pancreas, even the benign ones, because if they evolve to cancer, they need to know as soon as possible. And that increases enormously their workloads, because up to 21% of the population have not one of these lesions, and they monitor all of them even when less than 1% will evolve to cancer. What happens then if we are one of those people with a lesion and we don't know it, and we get a CT scan or an MRI for any other reason? Well, there are three possible scenarios. Almost half of them remain unseen. There are, of course, lesions that are detected but not diagnosed, and the patients will suffer more invasive tests, uh, surgeries, biopsies, and so on. And there are, of course, some lesions well detected and diagnosed that will be monitored by the radiologist manually. How can Sikai Medical assist in these three situations? Well, thanks to artificial intelligence, it detects automatically every lesion. It classifies the lesion from the first test, avoiding all the extra tests, and it automates the surveillance, saving time for the radiologists. We integrate this solution in the IT system of the hospital, obtaining all the information available from the already performed test without any extra time for processing and without any extra tool for the radiologists. We have already uh, performed a clinical validation with more than 1,000 imaging tests, two hospitals and four radiologists, and the results are already above the precision of expert radiologists, what makes us very optimistic, be very optimistic for the future. The early classification is the key for patients' life. And with Sikai Medical, we can avoid, avoid 5 million people assisting every year to their doctors, and we can avoid 40,000 deaths due to pancreatic cancer in Europe every year. And these two indicators are very important for us, not only because they measure the social impact that we provoked, but also the economic one. We will offer the solution to two different uh, client segments. On the one hand, the user, so hospitals, uh, clinics, teleradiology companies, and so on. They will pay an annual fee for the usage of the software. And on the other hand, the um, big distributors of software or the manufacturers of hardware and software, they will license the solution from us. We started the product at the beginning of 2020. Until now, we have already developed an MVP uh, that we have validated. We have also patented our technology and we have opened a seed round to afford all the clinical trials to obtain the CE mark at the end of 2022. Then we will start the commercialization and the escalation of the product to other organs in the abdomen and of course to other countries. This is a very ambitious project, we know it, but for that we count with a committed and completed team formed by a PhD in biomedicine specialized in pancreas as CSO, an engineer and PhD in computer vision as CTO, and myself, that I'm engineer and MBA as CEO. And of course, we are very proud of our medical and advisory board of experts that help us to improve every day. Because early diagnosis saves lives, and technology is our greatest weapon. So please help us to equip radiologists to, the, to defeat pancreatic cancer together. Thank you. Pues muchas gracias, Sikai, por vuestro pitch. Acabamos los pitches. Vea cómo sabemos quién va a ganar. Pues mañana tenemos un excelente jurado con cuatro mujeres y la moderadora que decidirán cuál ha sido el mejor pitch. Qué difícil, ¿no? Bueno, no os lo perdáis. Mañana sabremos quién es el ganador de esta competición de Impact Pitches en el Impact Forum.